Hello, I'm Jennifer from the St. Louis County Library. Welcome to Advanced Libby. This series of videos will show you how to use some of the more advanced features of Libby to enjoy ebooks, audiobooks, and magazines. This video will focus on managing your holds. To see the full playlist of all the Advanced Libby videos, click on the link in the description. When you are notified that your hold is ready and you are ready to read the book, then you will borrow it. But what happens if you get several holds that come in at the same time and you don't want to borrow all of them at the same time? Or maybe you're just not ready for a particular title. If you are not yet ready to borrow your title for whatever reason, instead of choosing borrow, you can choose deliver later. So I'm gonna tap deliver later. And then you're going to choose a period of time after which to have that title delivered. The default is seven days, but you can drag this white bar to the left to make that shorter, or the white bar to the right to make that longer. I'm going to leave it on seven days, and then tap Update Hold. When you suspend your hold for a period of time, that doesn't guarantee delivery on a specific date. For example, if you choose deliver later after seven days, you are letting the next person in line borrow that copy of the book. You will be notified about the first available copy after your seven days are over, which may be longer than seven days. If you are still not ready when you receive that notification, you can choose deliver later again. You can choose deliver later as many times as you want. You have three days after you receive your notification to choose borrow or deliver later. If you take no action, Libby will automatically choose deliver later after seven days the first time. If you take no action after receiving the second notice, your hold will be canceled. So please make sure to either borrow or manually choose deliver later within that three day period. Remember, you can manually choose deliver later as many times as you want. In some cases, you may know in advance that you will not be ready to read a title when it becomes available, but you still want to place a hold so that you can start moving up that hold list. If you know in advance that you will not be ready to borrow a title when it becomes available, you can choose to use the Suspend Hold feature instead. When you suspend a hold, you continue to move up on the hold list, but the item will not become available for you to borrow until the suspension expires or you remove it. Immediately after placing a hold, you will be given an option to suspend it if you wish, or you can do it later from your shelf. To suspend a hold from your shelf, tap Manage Hold, and then Suspend Hold. The default period of time is seven days, but you can drag this white bar to the left to make that shorter, or to the right to make it longer. I'm going to leave it on seven days and then tap update hold. Just like with the deliver later feature, you are not guaranteed delivery on a specific date. The longest period of time that you can suspend a hold for is 180 days. If you made it to the front of the hold list during your suspension period, you will receive the first available copy after your suspension has expired or been removed. The suspension will automatically expire at the time you specify, but you can also remove it at any time. To remove the suspension, tap Manage Hold, and then tap where it says Suspended Hold and then drag this white bar all the way to the left until it says active here. An active hold is no longer suspended. Scroll down and tap update hold. Now that your hold is active again, you will be notified when it is ready for you to borrow. Let me give you a couple of examples. Example one, you want to read all of the books in a series. 
usually, not always, but usually, the first book in the series will have a much longer waiting list than some of the other books in the series. Because when people discover a series, usually they want to start from the beginning. Take Harry Potter, for example. The first book in the series currently has a 10-week wait. The second book in the series currently has a two-week wait. And the third book in the series currently has a three-week wait. So of these three books, the first book has the longest waiting list. I don't want to get the second book before the first, but I also don't want to have to wait several weeks after reading the first book before I can get the second book, and so on with the rest of the series. So I can place a hold on all seven books and suspend books two through seven. Then after I've received and read the first book, I can remove the suspension from the second book. Since the first book's waiting list was longer than the second's, I should be at the front of the line, or very close to it, so I will get a copy much sooner than if I waited until this point to place it on hold. After I have finished the second book, I can remove the suspension from the third book, and so on. Example 2. Let's say your book club has chosen all the books that you will be reading for an entire year. And most of these books are very popular books that will have long waiting lists. If you wait until the actual month that you will be reading that book, you may not get it in time to read it for your book club. So you place holds on all 12 books at the same time and suspend 11 of them. Then go in and remove the suspension each month for the book that you need. Since the longest amount of time that you can suspend something for initially is 180 days or six months, you may need to go in at a later date and extend the suspension for the books that you will need later in the year. You can extend your suspension by tapping Manage Hold. Suspended Hold. If this white bar is not all the way to the right, drag it all the way to the right. But if it is all the way to the right and you can't drag it any further, tap the number of days, then tap 180 days, then tap Update Hold. Thank you for watching. There is a link to the entire Advanced Libby playlist in the description, as well as a link to upcoming technology programs at the St. Louis County Library. Thank you for supporting the library. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel.